What's up guys, Napenefez here and welcome to episode 1 of the I Man of the Match Fatal series. That is right, Fatal is back. You're going to see on the screen right now um, the rules and the other participants involved. Let me just briefly go over the rules whilst, uh, whilst we sit here. And the rules are as follows. Starting team on episode one must have 10 silver players, play two games each episode. The games will be added together this time, so if you lose one game and then win game two, you deduct the losses from game one to the winning in game two. Game type is online singles match versus full chem teams only. No dashboard as opponents, no coins carry over. At the end of each episode, with the winnings, you offer your viewers a choice of two pairings to add for the team. For example, the Neymar and Koke or the Varane and Casemiro that is on the screen. Moving swiftly on, goals for a goal, sorry, coins for a goal scored is 20k. Coins for goals scored with the Iron Man of the match player is 30k. Coins deducted for conceding a goal is 20k. Win on penalties is plus 20k. Loss on penalties is minus 20k. First half rage quit is 100k. Second half rage quit is 50k. And extra time rage quit is 25k. If you receive red card with any player in the series, it must be replaced with a bronze card. Every upgrade in the series must be a gold player minimum. And then last but not least, knockout format is best of two games. Scores combined, followed by a silver and golden goal in the event of a draw. Silver goal is the leading team at halftime wins. A golden goal is the first team to score that wins. So those are the rules, guys. And uh, we, as you see on the screen right now, picked I man of the match, Giroud, um, as, our, uh, as our player. Uh, I got some tweets saying, why, why was I allowed a legend? Banter, love it. But if we could get a thumbs up on the video, guys, let's try and smash 15,000 likes for episode one. I don't know if you could do it or not. It's up on you guys. It's on your shoulders. Nothing I can do. I'm only worth one like. But this series does really well. So let's try and break like records. And we'll start episode one off with 15K. And um, I'm going to build the team in just a second. But before we get into that, here are the people involved. First up, we've got Castro with Pogba, Kazooie with Iniesta, Zwayback with Griezmann, Polo with Sanchez, Reeve with De Bruyne, DJ Mario with Eden Hazard, Spin Bros with Clint Dempsey. They also went for a banter pick. And Tobao with Hamsic. And then we have uh, Marshall with Lionel Messi. Bateson went with Torres. Big mistake. Torres is ass in this game. Cacho went for Gareth Bale. Maverick and Wolves went for Higuain. I obviously went for the legend that is Olivier Giroud. Itani went for Balotelli, who is a fantastic pick. Nick 28T went with Cristiano Ronaldo. And Pumas went with David Villa. So those are the 16 starting Iron Man of the Match players. Let's get into my team specifically. On the screen, you see my Olivier Giroud. I have played a goal a game with him. He didn't score. Um, I prob he probably did score. And they just didn't count it properly or something like that. I don't know. Um, we're obviously building a uh, silver team to start with. I could have gone French, but I thought, you know what? Let me go BPL uh, for a change. So we built a BPL squad, guys. And in goal, we have got Butland. As our goalkeeper, the informed silver version, 80 diving, 84 reflex, 78 handling, 75 kicking, and 76 positioning. Very nice indeed. In at the right back spot, we've got uh, DeAndre Yedlin, I think his name is. DeAndre Yedlin, indeed. 93 pace, really poor stats other than physical, but he's got 93 pace, so he's probably going to be absolutely sensational. In at defence, we've got uh, team of the season, Cook, and this guy here, Cavaselli. Now, there were only two of him on the market, so I, I paid a lot of coins for him. There are now two more on the market, but he's going for about 7,000 coins. I picked him up for 3,700. He's actually got really good card stats. 78 pace, 73 defending, 78 physical, 6 foot 2, low high work rates. He'll be an absolute monster for us. And then Cook, who I believe I packed, 6 foot 1, medium, medium, 70 pace, 82 defending, 83 physical. He may as well be a gold card. He's got that good of stats. So really happy to have Cook in the team. He'll probably be one of the last players that we switch out. And then in at left back, uh, a, a player that I used in a previous Fatal a while back is uh, Schlupp. Picked him up for 87k, the hero version for Leicester win in the league. 87 pace. Again, quite like Yedlin. Not great stats. He's got a right dribbling and passing, but his defending is pretty weak. His physical is only okay. He does have better stats all round than uh, Yedlin, apart from pace. But uh, that is my defence. Probably the defence, the the uh, the fullbacks and the goalkeeper might be one of the first couple of positions that I'll be looking to change. In at the centre midfield spot, we've got three boys straight in there. We've got one hero card and two team of the season cards. We've got Harry Arter in at centre midfield. Five star weak foot, high high work rate. I love high high work rate midfielders, so I think he's going to be good for us. And he's got really really well rounded stats. You know, good pace. Great physicality, his shooting, passing and dribbling is nice. Not amazing, but for a silver card, he is pretty fantastic. We've got Eric Dyer in at 6'2", medium high work rate, 70 pace, 80 defending, 82 physical, 80 passing. He will make an absolutely spectacular 
defensive minded centre midfield. And last but not least, we've got Danny Drinkwater, medium, medium, 5'10, 4 star, 3 star. Again, really well rounded. He's club 70, 73 pace, 74 shooting, 72 defending, 78 physical, 80 dribbling, and 81 passing. Really, really happy with the midfield. Um, I'm not sure how quickly I'm going to change this midfield out. It might be one of the last things. In at left forward spot, guys. In fact, in a right forward spot, we've got uh, Gray. I'm going to be playing him up on the right-hand side. 86 pace, 80 shooting, 4-star weak foot, 3-star skill moves, medium, medium work race for 18,500 coins. I thought he was an absolute bargain. And then as you would have just seen, in at the left forward spot, we have got Gray uh, as our third hero card. Medium, medium work race, 510, 2-star weak foot only, but 3-star skill moves, 90 pace, 82 dribbling, and 70 shooting. So this is my initial team. I'm not sure how I want to develop this team. I don't know if I want to go for a BPL team. I don't know if I want to go for a hybrid. I don't know if I want to go for a French team going forwards. We've got a lot of possibilities. What's going to be interesting is how many coins we earn early on and then where we transfer those coins and put them into the team. Um, but, you know, we've, we've got the superstar Olivier Giroud up front. 69 pace, Kappa. 87 shooting, 86 physical, six foot four. He's going to be an absolute monster. I could just tell by I just got a gut feeling that he's just going to be a machine. But that, guys, is the team. Let's get into game number one. Okay, guys, our first opponent of the day obviously has a 100 chem team. He's got a full uh, Wigan team, it looks like. I can't get over how similar the Man City badge and the Wigan badge look. But that's his team. Um, this should be easy, unless this guy's incredible at FIFA, in which case this should be difficult. But with a bronze centre-back um, and a low-rated silver squad, should be good for me. Let's go. All right, into your van. Let's go. He's got McCann on the ball. McCann with a pass out to pretty much no one. Oh, Garcia loses that to Gale. Ah, oh, come on now, Curve. That's a good ball. That's a great interception from the boy. And look at the space we've got over there. It's, uh, it's great. He's clean through. This should be 1-0. It's Olivier Giroud. You know what happens when he gets the ball. I don't know where that space came from. My, uh, my right centre-back, that non-rare dude that I said would be good... Big interception, big tackle, incredible through ball, goes to Gray, first goal of the game, Olivier Giroud is there, it's 1-0 after three minutes, are we going to get the easiest rage quit I've ever had? Don't do it, don't do it, let me get more goals, you should get coins based on the, uh, like, time stamps with rage quits rather than first half, second half, because if this guy rage quits after one goal at 1-0, I'll actually be a little bit upset. All right, here we go. He's actually shown up. Oh, Olivier Giroud with the with the steel of dreams. Lovely ball in. I bet this guy like brings on Ronaldo or some crap, doesn't he? I bet he's got Ronaldo, Messi, and uh, Neymar or some shit on the bench. Yo, drink water. Let's get some pace, bro. That's a foul, ref. Ref? Yeah, foul. Easy. Oh man, my team's feeling sluggish here. Nice interception, big tackle from, uh, it's this same dude again, it's my, uh, my centre-back of dreams. Let's go Giroud, Olivier Giroud, he's clean through, can he make it two? You know it, you know it, it's Olivier Giroud with his second goal of the game, and it's 2-0 after just 8 minutes, and that is 60k in the bag, a beautiful through ball there. Once you get into this spot, you could have one shooting and you're still scoring that near post goal there nine minutes in and Giroud is an utter utter machine in front of goal two shots two goals from the man and look at that Cabaselli again doing the business he was putting the in you know putting the team to be a, a good defender for me I didn't think it'd be great but he's actually proving to be absolutely phenomenal Gray picks up the loose ball Gray's here we got Giroud at the far post the ball comes in. It's going to find its way to Gale. Gale with the drag back. Gale gets the ball in the box. I'm looking for Giroud. Where is Giroud Sandstorm? Gale, lovely step over into Giroud. Giroud into the space. Oh, what a beautiful drag back. Couple of ball rolls. Lovely pass. Gale, big tackle. Big tackle there. I'm searching for Giroud. I don't care. I'm, I'm feeding him goals. I will feed him goals, especially against a team like this. Should be easy to do. That's a great ball. Gale plays a 1-2 with a defender. That's a foul ref. He's blocked me off. He's blocked himself off. Gale gets it back. Oh, Gale gets it back again. Here we go with... Uh, oh, wow. This guy's got Will Grigg. Is he on fire, though? That's the real question. 
Cabasele, lovely, uh, lovely defensive qualities again. Here we go with Yedlin. And th this is why Yedlin's OP, because he's just got that pace. Look at Giroud there, chilling at the edge of the box. Olivier Giroud has completed a 24-minute hat-trick. You saw him back off there on the top of the box. Yedlin gets in behind. Boom, beautiful pass. One touch, one shot on the volley. It's 3-0, and Giroud has scored a hat-trick. And is that going to be the end of the game for Inter Yavan? It is. Game one is done. And Giroud picked up a big 7.3. How has Yedlin got a 10 rating? Giroud with a hat-trick. That's 190,000 coins from that game. Uh, no own goals. Assists coming from Gray, Dyer, and Yedlin. Shots on target. Three shots, three goals from Giroud. And that was all she needed. Passes complete. I mean, Cavacelle, four out of five. Cook, three out of three. Drink war was all right. Gale's passing was a bit shocking. Dyer, Arta, Gray, and Giroud all had 100% success rates, as did Yedlin and Cook. Dribbles completed five out of five for my centre-back. Three out of three for my right-back. Three out of six for Giroud. Gale and Gray also falling a little bit short. Dyer doing a decent enough job. Drink water and Arta being great. The crosses came in. Gray, one out of one. Tackles one. Look at that. Cavacelle with three out of four there. No saves from Butler. No saves needed so we get a big 3-0 win oh my is that was that real 3-0 win and we picked up 333 coins illuminati confirmed a hat-trick for Giroud threes all round and uh, a great game as you can see there guys three shots three got wait what all right tell like, how does this work then game how does this work we get three goals look where they're from but we've got three shots but look where they're from one of the shots is from a different position from where the goal was scored brilliant ea but anyway, guys, that is game number one done. I'll see you for game number two. Okay, guys, game number two. And we come up against, of course, another 100 chem, 77 rated team. He has got a full Scottish team. And, uh, oh, no, sorry, not a full Scottish team. He's got a full Scottish team and one English centre-back. Oh, and an Irish right-back, but almost a full Scottish team. He's got four team of the seasons, two informs, three, sorry, two gold informs, three silver informs, and then his silver left-back. This could be an interesting game. Um, I don't know how good the full Scottish team is, but because of how many informs and team of the seasons he's got, it could be interesting. That being said, I've got three heroes and a couple of... Uh, I think I've got three team of the seasons myself, along with the legend here, I'm Man of the Match, Giroud. And all we need to do, really, is, is pretty much just not lose. And, and then we come away with uh, a nice amount of coins. That is a shocking, shocking pass. He's uh, That's a lovely tackle. Oh, Gale into Giroud. Giroud, beautiful pass out there from Giroud. That's a good tackle into Gale. We've got a throw in here. I wonder if I've got a giant throw and taker. Gale puts the ball in. It's Schluck. Great cross to the far post. No one is there. If there's someone standing there, just head it back in to uh, Olivier Giroud. He would have put it in the back of the net, but no luck on this occasion. That's a terrible goal kick out. I should be picking the ball up here. Hey, that's a foul ref. Beautiful from Arta. He's evaded one tackle. He's evaded two. He's got uh, Eric Dyer here. Dyer getting tugged to the ground there. That's disgraceful behaviour. And is this uh, is this shooting range for the captain, for El Capitan? Is this where he goes from? Let's have a look at his free kick stats. I don't know how good they are. 89 power, 70 accuracy, 70 curve. Not bad, to be fair. We'll see what we can do with it. Great free kick. Oh, he's hit the bar. He's hit the bar. Can you believe it? Olivier Giroud has hit the bar with a free kick. Unbelievable stuff from uh, from the, the captain. And that's the first shot he's had in this team that hasn't found its way into the back of the net, which is a little bit disappointing. That's going to be his throwing as well. This guy's not a bad player. He's not a bad player. It's definitely going to be a fun game here. I can see myself conceding. Hopefully, I'm just able to score as well, though. Let's see what he's got going on here. I mean, if, I mean, if you just want to run with the ball, I'm, I'm happy to let you run with the ball. That's a great interception for Giroud. He plays it into uh, to Gray. Gray gets in. Gray's got Giroud. Oh, he's missed it. He's missed it. He just stretched out for it instead of uh, kind of getting the foot in that he needed. The ball comes in. It's going to fall to Gray. What a shot. What a goal. And it's 1-0. And uh, although I am looking for Giroud to score the goals, I need to take them where possible in a game that feels a little, more, a little bit more competitive than the previous game. Great work from Yedlin again. There is Gray. He opens his body up inside of the foot. Bangs it in the back of the net. It's 1-0. And that's another 20k in the bag. That pops us up to 210k now for the episode. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can forward, uh, force and forge another rage quit here that would be pretty damn uh, damn awesome 
I'm reading him very well and I've picked up the loose ball again and Gray is through and in behind. That's a great tackle from Anya. We're going to get a, a corner kick. Olivier Giroud is going to step up and take it. Giroud into Gray. Gray into Arta. Arta takes one touch, sets himself and puts it way over the bar. We're going to try and find the, uh, the right ball. Is that not a foul ref? No. Oh! Is that a rage quit? That's got to count as a rage quit, right? I was winning the game. I had possession of the ball. I was about to shoot. I was about to hit, hit the back of the net with Giroud. It's counted as a win for me. It wasn't me that disconnected. So acoustic mammo. Unlucky. We get another 100k. That's going to put us on 310,000 coins for the, uh, for the whole episode. I don't know how long the gameplay will be this episode because uh, it was relatively short stuff. We had three shots here today. Two on target. Just the one goal. As I said, he was a pretty decent player. 50% possession. Pass accuracy was relatively simple. He wasn't able to create a, a shot or anything. But um, when we look at the player stuff, Yedlin again with man of the match. Has back-to-back -back man of the matches for Yedlin. Giroud unable to get on the score sheet this time around. Uh, assist from Yedlin. The goal for Gray. Shots from Gray and Giroud. Uh, Giroud's free kick obviously hit the crossbar. Passes complete, big from Drinkwater. Dyer, Schlupp as well, 5 out of 7. Giroud, 3 out of 3. Gale, 3 out of 3. Dribbles coming in big again from Drinkwater, Giroud and Schlupp. Uh, crosses none of, but Cabasele again. 2 out of 2 tackles. He's been big for the team. But that, guys, is going to be the end of the gameplay. I've got 310,000 coins to work with. I'm going to go and see who I can get and then go into the player screen for you guys to decide. Let's go. Okay, guys, so as you can see on the screen now, the two options we're going to go with is going to either be choice one of Team of the Season Ozil and Team of the Season Van Dyke. A really good opportunity to uh, bolster the midfield and defence both at the same time. Not that the two centre-backs were bad by any stretch of the imagination, but it doesn't help to have a uh, Team of the Season gold centre-back in there. We can even play him at full-back if necessary, and the Ozil obviously would be amazing. And then choice number two is going to be Team of the Season Payet, uh, maybe going with that French theme and 89 Hazard. And you're probably thinking, wait, that's two left forwards or left mids. Well, that's correct. But Payet will be uh, playable on 7 chem in at centre mid or on 7 chem in at right forward for either of them as we currently have one of our right forwards anyway on, uh, you know, off chem. So those are the two choices, guys. And you guys get to decide. Straw poll is in the description below. Don't forget to smash a thumbs up on the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.